Hey, RCA Church family and others, happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in, giving me just a few moments of your time today. You know, we're looking forward to the best night of the week tonight, Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. right here at RCA Church. We've got something for kids, youth, adults. You don't want to miss it. Please come out. We're going to have an awesome time tonight. But you know, on Sundays, on the weekends, we're in the middle of this series called Vibrant Faith because our faith should be something that's powerful and life-giving. And I've really been challenging the congregation here at RCA Church to look at their faith and to dig in and to be active in their own discipleship. And so this past Sunday, uh, we, we took a look at what I believe is the absolute number one top priority thing that will help anyone with their relationship with God, with their active discipleship. We looked at our time with God. And look, 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 I know that you're like, well, I've heard this before. You know, I know that I need to do that. But here's the question. Do you do it? You may know all about it, but it doesn't help you unless you do it. I challenge our congregation to just give God nine minutes a day. Look, you, you can't look me in the eye and tell me you don't have nine minutes a day to give to the Creator, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. If you call yourself a Christian, nine minutes a day. Look, that's, that's how long it is when you hit the snooze button in the morning. That's nine minutes. There are more than nine minutes of commercials in a regular 30-minute sitcom TV show. Look, you've got nine minutes. You can do this. And it's really easy. It doesn't have to be hard. Take the first minute just to prepare, just to turn inward, just to settle yourself down. Put the phone away, turn the TV off. Just say to God, Lord, I'm, I'm here. Speak to me. Spend the next five minutes in God's Word. Use a translation that you can read and understand. Well, you know, the Bible can't help you unless you understand it. And also, what good does it do to understand it if you don't apply it to your life? So read the Bible for understanding. Read the Bible for reflection and application in your life. And then finally, pray. It doesn't have to be hard. I gave our congregation here on Sunday just a quick little model called the Acts Model of Prayer. A is for adoration. C is confession. T is thanksgiving. And S is supply. Ask God for the supply of the things that you need. Most of us are really good at that, but are we good at the A and the C and the T? I just want to challenge you with that brief recap. If you haven't seen the message, go back now, watch it on Facebook, on YouTube. You'll be blessed, you'll be challenged, you'll be encouraged. And come see us this Sunday. We'll be right here. We're continuing this series, 9, 30, and 11. We'll see you there.